Hey everybody, it's Pika 5, 10, 11, and we're running around in circles, man, and like eight figures and stuff. Um, in the last episode, we completed the tutorial pretty much at Impact Site, and in this episode, we're starting the Forest of Hope. And they apparently added, like, a new time limit, so yeah. I'm still going to try to keep these episodes as minimal as I can. And, yeah. Stuff like that. Well, we have landed in that onion followed us. What's with this thing's deal? Seriously? Apparently I can go under it and rip pigment out of the onion. I am amazed of the violence level in this game. Um, that's kind of spoilers for later on, but okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, you see that tall grass stuff? Don't go near it yet. Trust me, you do not want to go near that stuff just yet. It is very helpful. And your Pikmin will be very stupid when you go near it. So yeah, just wait until you get all your Pikmin and then start aiming for the grass. And so slow. <laughs> you know what the problem is? I've been playing Pikmin 2 lately. And that game's so much faster. This is what will happen if they get a nectar from this grass, they will turn into flower pigmen. Flower pigmen are faster and they are stronger. Well, pretty much what this is is something they'll beat their head against, and pretty much it'll fall down. It'll fall down. I'll pretty much show this once, and now I'll pretty much be cutting the rest of it out or do something during it. Yeah, I'll pretty much just do that the rest of the time. But I'll be cutting the rest of them out if there's nothing else to do. So, yeah. And if you look at the top of the screen, up there, you see where my cursor is? Yeah, up there. There's now like a sun gauge. That is the time limit for every day. You have 30 days, like Omar said, and that's how much time you have. Yes, every day isn't just like the first day. And oh my gosh, our first enemy of the game. We grow up so fast. If you land, if you land a Pikmin right on top of their head, they pretty much die instantly. I was trying to do it there, but I have a horrible okay. There we go, see? They just die instantly, like I said. Now, you want to carry these guys back, because they give you quite a bit of pigment. And the part I don't like is, if they can't carry it, they'll follow it for a sec, and then just stop there. The problem with that is, you know, at the end of the day, spoilers, there's an end of the day. If you don't have all your pigment with you, they will die. So, yeah. Right now, I'm just killing this dwarf bulborb that isn't even a bulborb. Ow! Ow, ow, pain, pain. I'm not gonna reference a song. Dang it, I did. Eh, I blame you. This, that's a red bull, uh, red, spotty bull worm. Jeez, I cannot talk whatsoever. 
Yeah, you can see all the Pikmin given to us by those Bulbors. Um, oh, more information. Um, people that are watch that watch my Bakugan LP are gonna be very sad. Um, something happened, and I've been saving throughout the LP, and well, actually, I haven't been saving. That's a problem. So pretty much all of that progress to like the first tournament has been lost. So, yeah, I can either, you know, continue it from there, or I can do what I'm planning on doing. What I'm planning on doing is pretty much just redoing the LP, and pretty much, you know, not failing. So I have it all the way to, like, the fifth gun or the like the fourth or third tournament so you can see what the problem is there. If it was to just like where we left off to where I ended uploading, that wouldn't be a problem. But no, I recorded a lot ahead of time and my I don't know who turned off my Wii. I think it might be my mom. I don't know, maybe the Wii turned itself off, I don't know, but whoever did it took out a lot of progress, so yeah, I'm not repeating all that again, so I'm thinking of redoing the game, except as a different attribute, I plan on doing it as a dark attribute, because I don't want to make the LP like an hour long at the final boss, because like I said, the final boss, spoilers, is very easy, or, well, I don't know if it's very easy, if you have dark Bakugan people. Yeah, Sun Gage, that's where they talk about the Sun Gage. Okay, so we have. Where's the other four? Um, it says there's four Pikmin not with us. Um, thank you. And um, crap. We don't have a certain item that we can get later. Um, this is very bad because. If there's a Pikmin missing, or four Pikmin missing, then that is very bad. Oh wait, I think I know where they are. Yeah, I know where they are. I forgot I had them building that bridge over here. There we go. Actually, We'll have them carry that back in our set. But now, about this body, Bulbor. He's in the way, therefore, he must die. In this game, the best technique to kill these guys with is attack their bum. You usually will never lose a single Pikmin to these guys unless you, you know, aren't safe when you do it. If you aren't safe, then they will take out an entirely squadron of them, I swear. But, yeah. Get these guys. Okay, so there's 46. Yeah, you can see our number just shot up thanks to that bulb orb and the five pellet. Okay, so. I might just get them all to work on. I really want to bust out of that gate today. But I also really want to raise up my pigment. 
they're just one pellets here, I can just forget it. Even though we will have to do that later. Just forget it for now. Um, and after I plug these pigment, if they're not done with that wall, then I'm pretty much gonna. Should I cut ahead? It's such a short time to cut ahead to me, but I don't know. I just don't. Uh, that's a problem. You heard that from my Wiimote? That means they're done. They are destroying. Okay, just gotta be careful that they didn't try to attack anything. You want to be sure to kill him in one hit, or else he will scream and he will wake up the bulbor. I'll leave him for these guys. Yes, this is what this thing was spoiling. This is a yellow onion, and boop, just like the reds. It will sprout a yellow pigment. I wonder what they're like. We have a uh, red pigment that have extremely long noses. I wonder what these guys have. Well, we'll drop all of them off right there. Whoa. It's Dumbo. Nice. Gumbo. And he's pimping. Pretty much we're gonna be dual. Yeah, they jump higher than other Pikmin, so they're kinda awkward to throw. Personally, from my opinion, I think they're very awkward to throw. So you have to have so they go more in an arch than the reds. But they're a bit... Yeah, see? But they're pretty good against those little dwarf bulb orbs. Oh, by the way, yeah. If you have over 100 Pikmin out on the field at once, then it will stop producing Pikmin seeds, but they will continue to grow inside the onion. I'm trying to make sure that it goes, yeah, see, the majority, if it has the majority of the pigment being the one color, like say I have seven yellows and three reds, it'll go to the yellow onion. But if I have like six reds and four yellows, then it'll go to the uh, yellow, or the red onion. I'll at least carry these guys back. That's why I throw a Pikmin all mark. Now we have a hundred Pikmin with us, so, you know, none of them died. That's the end of the first day, and we didn't cut a single 
spit out. So each of these episodes can last about a little bit over 15 minutes, which used to be the old time limit. So yeah, that's pretty good. The first day is pretty much going to be the only video that is actually long because, you know, yeah, it's unlimited time and it's kind of slow. And what's the dangerous thing here? Two bull, um, spotted bull barbs. But yeah, our population, red shot up and then near the end, yellow started to shoot up. Yellow Pikmin aren't really needed for much, so we won't be sprouting a lot of them. We will be sprouting a lot of reds, though. So next time on Pikmin, I was about to say Pikmin 2, on Let's Play Pikmin, we will continue in the Awakening, or, what's this place called? I need to check, I'm serious. It's called the freaking... Forest of Hope. I was about to call the um an area from Pikmin 2. See you guys then. Bye.